What's up guys, how's it going? Mr. Ron coming back for another ODFP, another Old Dead Famous People Showcase. In today's showcase, let's talk about Giuseppe Mazzini, an Italian nationalist leader who was a key figure in the movement toward a unified Italy. He lived between the years of 1805 to 1872, and he had the nickname as being the soul or the heartbeat of the Italian unification movement. Now before we talk about that, let's describe the fragmented status of Italy in the mid 1800s. Keep in mind that although the people of the Italian peninsula guys, they spoke the same language and had a similar culture, they had not experienced political unity since Roman times. For centuries, Italy had been a battleground for ambitious foreign rulers and local princes. Frequent warfare and foreign rule had led people to identify with local regions. For instance, the people of Florence considered themselves to be Tuscans, those of Venice, Venetians, and those of Naples, Neapolitans, and so on and so forth. But as we saw in Germany with the uh, invasion of Napoleon, we're going to see that idea of nationalism really take root here. And in the Congress of Vienna in 1815, we're going to see those Italian nationalists get ignored. They hoped to end centuries of foreign rule and achieve unity, however, that was not given to them. To Prince Metternich, the idea of a united Italy was a complete joke. And Italian lands in the north were given to Austria, okay, while the Habsburg monarchs were claiming various Italian states, and the French Bourbon ruler was put in charge of Naples and Sicily, okay? It's not very fair to the Italians. Eventually, we're going to see people like Giuseppe Mazzini come and they're going to establish certain movements or certain ideas that are going to spread across Italy. And one of his movements was the Young Italy Movement. This was a political movement founded in 1831. And the goal of this movement was to create a unified Italian Republic through the promotion of a general insurrection in the Italian reactionary states and in the lands occupied by the Austrian Empire. Mazzini wanted to constitute Italy as one free independent Republican nation. And he's going to play a significant role for the Young Italy movement. He was obviously the leader and founder of this movement, and he had dreams of making the kingdoms of the Italian peninsula, like you see right here, the fragmented Italian peninsula, one sovereign nation state. And for the Young Italy movement, he's going to push for the following three goals. Unification of several Italian states and kingdoms, a single republic where there's no ruling monarch or no, no royal family, and one independent free republic. The motto of Young Italy was God and the people. Even though Mazzini was not a Christian, right, he believed in God and the power of the people and declared that neither the Pope nor King only God and the people will open the way to the future for us. Now, Italy is going to make a lot of sense to people. The time around Giuseppe's rise here uh, to prominence and popularity is going to be also a time when people are going to be scratching their chinny chin chins thinking Italy should really just be one country. We should be unified. And the people of the Italian peninsula, they're going to share a language and a culture and key historic background. Leaders like Mazzini saw this and tried to create opportunities for the people of Italy to rise up and create nationalistic pride. Mazzini asked the people of young Italy to not take pride in the regions of Italy and the kingdoms they came from, but instead view themselves as part of a whole united Italian population. And by spreading this nationalistic message, Italy eventually became, with the help of Giuseppe Garibaldi, nicknamed the sword, and Camilo di Quavoir, the brain, one sovereign nation. Now, the final legacy of Giuseppe Mazzini is this, is that he should always be remembered for being the, one of the first individuals to get the ball rolling here for Italian unification. Through his establishment of Young Italy, he was able to motivate the masses into following him in his nationalist cause. Without the influence of Mazzini, Quavoir, and the people of Sardinian Kingdom, guys, they would have never even received the call to unite the uh, Italian peninsula. And in closing, with Giuseppe Mazzini, you have to understand that he was the soul and heartbeat of the Italian unification efforts and will forever be remembered as a founding father for the country of Italy. All right, that's all I have for this ODFP showcase. I hope you guys enjoy it. Mr. Allen, sign off. I'll see you guys later. Take care.